Question, why are people good but not religious? What do we mean? We see many times there are people who are good human beings. They take your trash out in the morning. They give you a gift when you have a baby at home. When you ask them what's your religion, they say, sorry, we, we're not religious. You don't believe in any religion? No. So you're not even Christian? No. Muslim? No. But you've got such good morals, why aren't you religious? There's normally three reasons people don't want to be religious, even when they're good human beings. The first reason is the hypocrisy of the religious. What do I mean? Many left religion not because they were bad people, but because when you see the top of the religion is hypocritical, then you don't want religion. Why? Because the human sometimes has a false conclusion. What is it? The people represent the religion. And that sometimes is the worst conclusion. George Bernard Shaw used to say, Islam is the best religion with the worst followers. Yes? The religion, Islam, is a wonderful religion. The followers, if you were to look at them, you wouldn't want to join the religion. The first reason a lot of people are not religious Never think it's because they're bad people. No, there are a lot of people who are not uh, religious, not members of religion, but they're good human beings. You find the first reason is hypocrisy. They see the leaders of the mosque, the leaders of the church, the leaders of the synagogue, the Buddhist monk. They see the person heading the temple. Then they see that person scamming the money of the community, running away with the money, which was meant to be given to projects in the community. That person straight away says, you know what? I don't want religion because if the religious are like this, then why would I want to be part of that religion? Therefore, the first reason was what? Hypocrisy. The second reason was what? Holier than thou in a religion push you away from being religious. What do I mean? A girl comes to the mosque. Her hijab is not the best hijab, yes? But at least she's come to the mosque. Alhamdulillah. She's come Shahar Ramadan to the Majlis. She's come Muharram to the Majlis. Yes, her hijab, maybe it can be worked on. When she enters the mosque, instead of the religious of the mosque, if they're truly religious, instead of them coming to her and saying, Welcome, come, can we help you with anything? Is there any help that you need? Straight away you see the whispers between the members of the community. Look at her hijab. She can't even wear hijab properly. Look at her. No akhlaq, no respect, hypocrite, this, that. That girl is coming to a mosque or she's coming into a microwave oven. Yes? That girl is coming into a place of mercy or she's coming a place of fire. Sometimes the holier than thou in our communities, the so-called religious who have never done anything wrong. Yes? And subhanallah, there are some, they've got such glass houses, yes? They've got the glass house of glass house. And they're throwing stones on everybody, yes? Where their house is a house made of glass. You can destroy it in one second. When I come to a mosque, as a young man at the age of 21, you walk into a mosque, your hair style, maybe the latest hairstyle, your clothing, maybe the latest clothing, you walk in, you find someone supposedly religious. What is this you are dressing like the Western people? Yes, Habibi, because I live in the West. I don't know if you realized. Uh, you live in the West and I live in the West. If you don't want to live in the West, then go home. Go home. No, but you can't. You've come to Allah's house. Yes, I know. I've come to Allah's house. I would hope that you give me the benefit of the doubt that I've come to talk to my Allah. Yes, I've come to discuss with my Allah. The second reason people don't become religious is because the religious put you off religion. Yes, when you look at the religious, they put you off. Instead of giving you the benefit of the doubt, instead of welcoming you to the house of Allah, a masjid is not your house, yes? You don't have the freehold on a mosque. Husayniya is not your house. You don't have the freehold of a uh, mosque, of a Husayniya. They're the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whoever comes to that congregation, Allah judges, not you. The second reason, the holier than thou. The third reason is what? The misinformation in the media about the religion, yes? Sometimes there are people who want to join the religion of Islam. They look at the media. The media tells them what? Islam is ISIS. ISIS is Islam. Say, hold on a minute. Which of us supports ISIS and what ISIS is doing? There's a minority and a ridiculous, filthy, ignorant minority that believes these people represent the religion of Islam. The majority of us have spoken out against ISIS. 
There's even websites now, Muslims condemn terrorism. Yes, we've spoken out. But there are many, when they look at CNN, or they look at Fox News, when they look at them, what do they do? When they look at them, they think to themselves, well, CNN and Fox News must be right, that these Muslims are terrorists, are barbaric, and so on. Sadly, sometimes those who don't become religious, you find that these people who do not become religious, it's because of what? It's because of the misinformation of the media. Yes? To all Mu'mineen, thank you for watching. Share this video with your loved ones, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure you hit the bell icon. Help us create the first educational da'wah channel spreading the message of Qur'an and Ahlul Bayt. Donate now. Thank you.